Hey y'all, what's up? I thought I'd do a quick video. This thing is kind of my catch-all at dad's and extra stuff. So, kind of my go-to here, but... Old Armstrong half-inch ratchet, Pittsburgh 3 8 uh, Master Force. 11-inch quarter-inch, Duralast, little itty-bitty quarter-inch. Some Pittsburgh extensions. 3 8 and half inch torque wrench, some magnets, a uh, half inch deep metric standard, and shallow. Same deal here in 3 8 some 12 point swivels. There in quarter, a bunch of old axle nut sockets, swivels, SK spark plug sockets, a bunch of old random stuff. These things are actually pretty good, believe it or not. Them pry bars, I like them. Old impacts, some old porter cable. Bell has them bolt extensions, long quarters, half inch snap on, old from like the 70s, old Matco ratchets, old snap on flat, snap on flat affair. This is kind of my catch all kind of junk drawer for electrical. It's empty, but a lot of my stuff's about to go on my dyad cart, and you guys are going to see a pretty sweet video here soon. Kind of oil filter stuff and Brake stuff, scrapers, a bunch of random stuff for measuring and cutting. Now these things are actually pretty good, y'all, believe it or not. These Pittsburgh Pro long combination wrenches, them things are killer for the money. 30 bucks, you can't beat it. Uh, it goes up from 1 inch to 3 eighths in standard and 22 down to 10 in metric, but they do skip some, which sucks, but it happens. Now these things right here, I know they're all rusted, that's what happens when you live around here, humidity, but you can't flex at all, these things cut well, these are the cobalt I believe. Now these were a part of my garage sale find for a dollar or 25 cents a piece. Matco branded snap ring pliers. You can switch them to open or to put them on or take them off. Bunch of random old Craftsman USA. Some good needle nose there. Some old junk stuff, but it works for here. These huge hyper tough uh, sledgehammers are actually pretty decent. Old Mac slash Proto. Dead blow, some old Walmart one, a bunch of ball pins. And then, I don't know if I got this door or not, some old Husky and some random old wrenches if I need to cut up and stuff like that. A bunch of random crap. But yeah, it's kind of the catch all. And if I need to grab something quick, I can. No, I'm going to get my Diag cart done, some workbenches and everything else in here in the shed and get that done and do a tour of it and then do a video of me wiring and get my racing four-wheeler going. Now, I need a motor for it, the 500 shot, so I just put my little KLT250 on it for now and I'm going to weld up motor mounts and everything else, so, or I'm going to make a brackets. That way I ain't got to weld anything to the frame, and I'm keeping the wiring for the 500 on it. I'm just taking the wire off my three-wheeler and kind of plug and play with it. That way I ain't got to mess with it at all and kind of keep it all stock. That way when I put my 500 back on, I can and not have to worry about it. But yeah, kind of a quick little tour. But it works. They're all missing because those are most of them are on the truck. So, uh, thank you.